All right. Got an unboxing today. I always try and pretend like it's going to be a surprise of what's in here until I remember that I'm just going to put the name of the guitar in the video title. So there's a box from Tom Mann. It's, uh, you know what kind of guitar it is already if you read the description. But we may be surprised. This box weighs like nothing. So there, maybe there's not going to be a guitar in here. It legitimately, to me, kind of feels like it's just an empty box. Uh, I'll mention now, this may not be the title, this is a B-Stock model of this guitar. Well, there is a guitar box in here. This one feels like the same weight as the whole thing. So, there probably is a guitar in here. Let's see what a B-Stock EX84 Modern looks like. Moment of truth. Yep, there definitely is a guitar in here. Alright, so it looks like they just kind of threw a loose battery in here for the active pickups. This packaging looks a little battered, but I'll just show you. I don't know, even never seen that brand before, but came with a, a battery. Take this rubber band off. Take off the foam on the switch tip. I'm glad they did that. Okay. I've always wanted an Explorer shaped guitar. So, Harley Benton, please don't disappoint. Well, I'll be darned. It's true what they say. These are Grover locking tuners and a Graftech Tusk Nut, Tusk XL. No doubt about the authenticity of the hardware and nut, which is kind of crazy on a guitar at this price point. Oh no! Well, I mean, it's a B stock, so I shouldn't be super surprised. There. Well, maybe it's just my lighting. No, it's definitely not the lighting. Alright, first of all, the guitar, because it's sick. It's, you know, it's a super modern shape. It's got Grover locking tuners, it's got a Graph Tech Tusk nut. The color is really good. It's like super white. I think this is a rosewood fretboard. I thought it was going to be ebony for some reason. But it appears to be rosewood. Already there are some minor problems that I'm sure a good setup will fix. Um, so here's, here's the cosmetic defects. We'll see if the camera can pick it up. Mm, maybe not. But right here, there's a little scuff. Not a big deal. And it's a B-stock. I saved like 60 bucks. Just a tiny little scuff. So, you know, I can't fault Tom Man for that. They did market this as a B-stock. And that little tiny scuff right there appears to be the sum total of the cosmetic defects on this guitar. So, honestly, I'm pretty stoked on that for, for a B-stock guitar. The... Fret edges are better than, I mean, down here they're fine. They get sharper as you go up. So a little polish. I mean, it's been a long trip. Here's what's the craziest and probably the most to be expected. I think this is typical good shipping practice. I don't know if you can tell, but that action is like half an inch or maybe more maybe three quarters of an inch off the, the fingerboard here it looks like this the bridge can go down a bit the tension in the neck actually looks pretty good I don't know if I would adjust the neck to be any more tense than that I'll probably just adjust the bridge down nowhere near and tune out of the box yeah, so we'll see this again. I'm going to give it a good setup. 
I'm going to polish the fret ends, uh, put on some of my preferred strings. I'm going to pop the battery in here. And I'll do a review of this guitar. I have a couple of mods in mind as well. Not, uh, I mean, we'll see how these Roswells do. If they sound great, then I'll just leave them in. If they don't, I'll, I'll pop some EMGs on there. But I am going to do white pickup covers and white pickup rings. Just to give this a little, you know, make it more metal.